Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech, and today I want to show y'all how to hard factory reset your ZTE Blade Max 2S. Let's get it started. Okay, so right now you'll see the phone is on. I got all my apps in here and everything or whatever. And man, I gotta say this phone just flies, y'all. This thing is so smooth and so quick. But anyway, that's beside the point. Let's go ahead and show you how to hard factory reset this phone. So what you wanna do is go ahead and power this phone down just like this. So right now it is shutting down. So it may take a second here to uh, actually shut down. This is a very, very simple process. And honestly, I will not be factory resetting my phone as I don't wanna have to reset everything back up again. But I want to take y'all through how to do everything. Very simple, very easy to do. So just please follow the directions here. And uh, hopefully you don't have any trouble hard resetting your phone. So on the right side of the phone here, when your phone is powered off, you will see your volume up and volume down and power button. Now what you want to do, and now this is what you want to do. You want to just hover your finger over the volume down. Don't press it yet. Hover your finger over the volume down, hover your finger over the power button. And at the exact same time, you wanna press those in until the screen pops up and let go. Okay, you'll see the ZTE screen here. And then all of a sudden, you will see this little menu right here. And I try to bring it in closer. You will see some different toggles here. Reboot system now. You will also see reboot to bootloader, apply update from ADB, wipe data factory reset wipe cache partition mount system view recovery and logs run graphics test now what you want to do is you're going to go in here to the wipe this is what i do you can do what you want to do this is what i do i always go in here and i wipe cache partition so what you want to do on here is press the power button and it says you may be required to connect to network via SIM or Wi-Fi and log into Google account before using the device. Thanks. What you'll want to do here is scroll down and to yes, and then you'll press the power button and it'll clean your cache. However, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to you know, clear everything out of my phone. So I'm going to push no here. So then once you get done doing that, you'll scroll down here to white data factory reset. You will press the power button here once again. It says you may be required to connect the same thing that I mentioned a while ago. Now this right here will completely factory hard reset your phone back to factory. And you may have to log into the, to the Google account that you signed in with previously. So that's something to think about, okay? Uh, but once you do this, it wipes everything from the phone. There is no recovery. Okay, so what you'll do here is you'll scroll down with the volume button here. And once you push yes, you'll push the power button. And then it will go into its whole reset cycle, which could take five, ten minutes, depending on, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So right now, like I said, I'm not going to do that. Um, and then once you factory hard reset it, wipe the cache partition, you will press reboot system now. Your phone will power off and it will power back on just like this right here. And it'll go through a whole little setup here just like you bought your phone from factory. You gotta set everything up. And like I did make mention before, you may have to sign in with the original Gmail account that you signed in with before. So just keep that in mind that that could be a possibility. But once you give a hard factory reset, it'll say, let's get started or whatever. You have to go through the whole complete startup system again. But that's just a very easy way here how to factory hard reset your ZTE Blade Max 2S. So this was helpful and informative at all. Hit that like button. Any questions you may have, leave it below. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so for further videos. Hit that bell for post notifications. So thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. And we'll see y'all in the next video.